Mark Letterman Rome. Cam, you don't like double moves, do you? No. <laughs> what was that? It seemed like that was, I mean, that's the play maybe you've been waiting to make for a long time. Take us through you know, the pick, what you saw, and, and how you played that. Uh, it took a lot of film study. I was um, really looking at that exact play a lot this morning. So um, he's running a slam go, and I just stayed over the top, and I just used my technique. And the rest of the pressure really got there, and he underthrew it, so I was able to come under. Right next door, Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. For uh, Ryan, this, they were getting a lot of stuff underneath in this game, a lot of stuff over the middle. How much of that was what you guys were willing to give them as part of the game plan? How much of that is looking forward to something you think needs to be corrected? Uh, I think, I, don't, I wouldn't say we expect too much of it, um, but uh, we just got to make those adjustments, you know, whether it's halftime or whatever, wherever we feel it's an issue, we just got to get that stuff corrected. Um, I'm sure we'll go over it more on film um, and prepare better for it in the next games. Uh, right next door, Tim May, Letterman Row. You're right. Do you, do you, do you feel like leaving tonight, you guys have come a long way defensively. Do you feel like this is a championship caliber defense or a championship caliber team? Just what's your sense of it? Uh, most definitely, you know, the guys in the locker room, the guys on the team know our potential. Um, it's just a matter of us going out on Saturday and showing up, you know, the rest of the nation that uh, what we're capable of. And what did it mean for you guys to continue this uncanny thing of scoring a touchdown defensively? It's huge. Mean? It's yeah. huge. Um, you know, whenever we can add steal points, um, we, we want to do that. Uh, you know, the guys, we talk about it uh, before the game, you know, who's going to be the one to get it, who's going to be the one to score. And uh, Jamar Cage was the one to do it today, so we're, we're, we're super happy and proud for him. Did anybody say his name before the game? Nah. Second row left, Dan Hope, 11 Warriors. Cam, following up about, I mean, to see a guy like Jerron who's been here for you know, five years to make a play like that, I mean, just how exciting is that for you and for the rest of the defense to see that happen? So um, that, that play was really a game changer for us. We was all excited, like everybody on the sideline, even everybody on the field. I was probably like 60 yards away trying to run down to catch him to try to celebrate with him. He was, he was too tired, but, you know, I tried to do something. <laughs> We'll go to the to the far left wall, uh, Bill Landis, The Athletic. Ronnie, uh, how have you noticed your your front kind of impacting and affecting opposing quarterbacks? It's huge. You know, they're playing tremendous. They're playing lights up um, week in and week out. And, uh, you know, as a secondary, I'm sure uh, Cam agrees, whenever you get that pressure on the quarterback, whether it's just the timing thrown off or getting the ball out earlier, it's huge. It, it matters a lot. So uh, we're forever thankful for you. Know, and I'm glad those guys are balling right now. Uh, front row, uh, left middle, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. For both of you, when the offense is scoring 50 plus points a week, the defense doesn't have to be great. Uh, when they struggle like they did tonight, you guys have to have to pick it up. Um, how how comforting or how satisfying was it that you guys did play such a big role tonight? Um, I feel like it's always it's always it's like we're always trying to play our best out there. You know, offense have our back, we have that back sometimes, and we just keep going, just keep going with each other. Yeah, kind of piggyback off uh, what Cam said. You know, the, the game's not going to go perfect each, uh, each week. You know, um, there's going to be some slip ups or whatever. But like Cam said, we got their back and they got ours. So I'm just glad we were, we were, we were there to be able to, uh, you know, pick them up, you know, get those stops on those sudden changes and stuff like that. And we're going to wrap it up uh, with Adam Rittenberg, far left, ESPN. Yeah, Ronnie, uh, as far as the, the scheme changes that you guys have made since the start of the season, how have those helped you guys overall as a defense make more plays like you did tonight? Uh, I think it's huge. Uh, I think it's huge. Uh, I think the biggest thing. Uh, a lot of the guys on the defense got a lot more experience, you know. Um, guys are playing with a uh, more. Uh, what, what's the word? Uh, I guess I'll just say more experience on it. But you know, those first few games we were coming in uh, the beginning of the season, not, not too many guys knew what it was like to really be out there, including myself. So you know, we're we're going in, uh, to week nine or week eight. I'm not sure, but that experience helps a lot.